Oh yes, it's Nick Shell, the internet receding hairline guy. Here's what I was thinking last night. As I was looking in the mirror, I thought back to something I've said a couple times here recently, and that is, at age 35 and a half, I'm proud to still have as much hair as I still have. Even though many will say that I've actually got a little less hair than other 35 and a half year olds. In my, in my own circle of people I know, I feel like I've got more hair than slightly more than them. So I, I feel like I'm still got a little bit more hair than most 35 year olds that I know. But, and I, and I say that, oh, I'm, I'm just proud to have the hair I still have. And it's a funny concept to say that I'm proud to have the hair I still have, as if I had any control over it. I mean, there's, there's, proud is a weird word to use when it comes to hair loss, because obviously it comes down to your genes more than anything. Were, were you predetermined, predestined to be able to keep your hair or not? It's in your genes. I mean, we can look at all these other factors, but I think most people would agree, it really comes down to your genes. And even if, even if both grandfathers had a full head of hair, still, you could end up going bald. Early. It's still possible. So it's, it's, it's a poor term to use to say, I'm proud to still have my hair, because how can you be proud of that? How can you be proud of something you have zero control over? You can be proud over something you actually can control but for something you can't control like that's like saying I'm proud to have brown hair okay what does that matter I'm proud to have brown eyes great good for you can you really be proud of something you have no control over I still say it and I still mean it because and I think probably the better word to use is I'm grateful I should I shouldn't say I'm proud to still have this much hair I should say I'm grateful to have this much hair. That's, that goes into my ethos right there uh, and being victorious, that you're grateful to have what you have. But being proud to have hair, uh, I should stop saying that because how, how does that even make sense? That, that that's, Even beyond the fact that you have no control over how much hair you still have naturally, but it's not like you... Are any better off, any, any better of a person? Because when I start saying I'm proud to still have this much hair, it's almost like I'm comparing myself to other people who don't have this much hair in my age. So, uh, note to self, lesson learned to myself. This is what I learned today. I'm saying this to myself. Don't say I'm proud to still have this much hair. Say I'm grateful. Grateful is the word to use, not proud. I'm Nick Shell. I'm the internet receding hairline guy.